My name is Marina and currently we are driving around with some food items in, our, in the back uh, to deliver food to local uh, residents. We are working for the food bank, uh, so it's my husband Henry who is the driver. Hello. Jennifer who is the organizer of the whole food bank. She tells us how many deliveries they need us to deliver and depending on our ability we'll try to do as much as we can and it will usually be between 10 and 15, depending on the date. Sometimes we have to pack some items as well. So now we're gonna try to find that uh, place, get some bags and go and look for the person who needs our help. You can see we have some markers on the back. So this is for three people. There are situations where I call them on the phone and they say, Oh yeah, she's probably sleeping, so just leave it at the door. <laughs> so just around the corner. Uh, yeah, just... Hi there, I'm from a food bank. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Oops. Hello, I'm from a food bank. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I found it impressive how people from all kinds of backgrounds just say oh now I have a bit of time and now people are struggling I'm gonna go out and help nobody cares where you're from what you do you're just there to help you're just there to get your hands dirty and deliver things or cook food or put things in plastic bags and it all seems so simple but the impact it had you can see that you know people greet you so happily people are actually relying on you for survival in in times like this because they they couldn't come out, they couldn't volunteer, they don't have food to put on the table. But it's, it's just very exciting how with such a little thing, I feel like we're changing quite a bit and helping out quite a lot of people. I'm still working full time, but I'm taking a few hours off every week to, to do this, which is actually a very good break for me as well. I only recently moved here last year and you don't realize how many people need help just around the corner. Well, it's actually quite impressive how much Poplar Harker owns. Yeah, I know it was set up with quite a big purpose in mind, which is quite inspiring. It's to help the local residents in a you know, borough that lacking behind every other boroughs in London. They basically support all the local volunteer organizations, including Poplar Union, you know, including our food bank. They have donated a lot of money towards that. It's just incredible and how they're still operating under all those conditions. Yeah, I'm quite impressed with all their work. <laughs> I was so impressed with how fast the food banks and local volunteering things just sprang up. And, you know, in three weeks, it was the very well oiled machine that just kept running every week, no matter what happens. Um, I've just learned that you know, in the times of crisis, people come together and everybody can help in some way. Hello, I'm from a food bank. I dropped off some food for you. Oh, lovely. Thanks. I thought you was my neighbor. No, sorry. <laughs> Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Cool. Ice cream.